All right. All right, I need you guys to pay attention while we're doing this, so all your little side conversations need to uh, not, not happen. I suppose you're flying a kite, gets caught in the top of a tree. Uh, you let out 100 feet of string to the kite, and the angle that the string makes with the ground is 75 degrees. All right, so say this is your tree. There's a kite. And basically what you're saying is, I let out 100 feet of string. The angle that the string makes with the ground is 75 degrees. And it says, how tall is that tree actually? Say you're going to climb that tree to get your kite. So I need an X value right there. All right, so is that opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Opposite. Opposite. What's the hundred? So if you have opposite and hypotenuse, what are we going to use? Sign. Sign. That's okay. No worries. No, sign is opposite over hypotenuse. So the sign of 75 degrees is going to be the opposite side over the hypotenuse, which is 100. So we multiply by 100. So x is equal to 100 times the sine of 75 degrees. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one thing you want to do when we're dealing with numbers being multiplied by sines and cosines, put the numbers out front because you don't want them mixing with the angles. So it's always, if it's going to be, if you say sine of 75 times 100, put it out front, make it 100 times the sine of 75 degrees. Why well, just multi well since it was I needed to, I needed to get x by itself and since I was dividing I multiplied by 100. So I multiplied both sides by 100. And now I'll just use a calculator. So 100 times the sine of 75 degrees So I got X to be 96.6, about 96.6 degrees. Did you put the degree mark by the 75? I'd have to take a look at that. Multiplied. 100 times the size.